Hello. It's Kendo, and today I'm back with another Tuesday tutorial for you guys. Today is a tricky one. The outward tooth whistles. <laughs> So I learned this sound last year when my back was all messed up, if you guys remember that. I was stuck in bed just kind of messing with the sounds that I could do, and I figured this out and I was like, ooh. So ever since then I've kind of been working on this, I'm still kind of developing it. I can tell it still needs some work for sure, but hopefully you guys enjoy this today. It is a tricky one, positioning is key on this, but let's get into this one today, let's do it. I didn't mean to learn this sound, but the person I would say that inspired me to learn this would be Kenny Urban. And I know that sounds weird, but if you ever watch Kenny Urban with his Instagram or TikTok videos, or even live, he always does that cheek tap thing with the hi-hat. He'll do the... Always, right? Always does that. So I really wanted to learn how he got the hi-hat, like, from the side of his mouth, rather than going... Because if you think about it, if he did it from the center, he'd have to go... Or something, you know? And he goes... It's all off the cheek. Right? So I started working with those last year when I, like I said, my back was messed up, I was stuck in bed. I started going trying to get that sound and I accidentally learned while I was doing it. You can hear there's that, there's that whistle tone to it. So it's very similar. If you have that Kenny Urban side hi-hat thing, that, it's pretty much that. Okay, if you don't have that, let me break that down for you real quick right now, and then we'll get into the whistle, okay? Step one, take your hi-hat and relax it. So keep keep blowing out the air, but see how I'm going, relax your face, but keep that hi-hat in the center. So you see how it's still a hi-hat, but it's not, it's not all sharp anymore? everything's relaxed okay so that's the first step relax your face and just so i'm still doing that as you can hear it's just not that sharp because i'm not only using my teeth now to be specific i'm doing a my tongue's still there that's why you can hear me be able to do the notes and right because my tongue's there but it's very relaxed and my teeth are almost coming onto my bottom lip so instead of look at the difference that is the first step try to get that and just it's almost kind of like i said coming off the bottom lip try to once you start feeling that a little bit of that air kind of push that lip and you can feel Start trying to push it to either the right or the left side. For me, it's my right side. So watch, you'll hear the tone change. So. You heard that little happen. My tongue is just. So check this out. Not to be all close in ASMR. When I'm doing a regular hi-hat, even if it's relaxed. See this, this line on my teeth? The air is almost coming out. When I shift it, you're just moving your air in between your teeth. So instead of going down the center, imagine blowing diagonally. That would be the best way I could describe it. Is I'm literally taking my air. You can't see it, but if you could, if you could see my air, like my hand was the air, it's going. And if you look, when I get that second tone, the air is coming out for me here. Watch. So if I go, if I do the first one, but if I do the second one, see that doesn't really work. All of a sudden, you can kind of hear it because I'm tapping hard, but it doesn't really work. But if I go over here, you're literally taking your hi hat air and adjusting it that way. That's how Kenny Urban does that. He just And then once you get that once you start getting it in the side of your face like that, just tap your cheek. And that's what Kenny does a lot. I do it not to be random. I have a couple TikToks where you see me go like that. It's 
that's I'm just adding a with it but it's okay so if you guys have ever seen anyone like or doing all that that's what that is it's just a hi-hat and adjusting your air to a flow almost like a like a like a diagonal so that's the first step sorry that was kind of a big explanation but this is crucial trust me so once you get that side hi-hat thing fine it sounds weird but like i said put your finger around and find where that air is coming from you'll literally if you blow on your finger right now and you go that's what you'll feel so if i go there's no air i can feel over here so it shows me that's not where the sound's coming from right here okay so for me since that's where my air is coming out of i have to look in a mirror and go oh, okay these two teeth right here this is where the whistle is going to come out of you're already pushing out this way now you're just closing up the space even more okay so you know how we're taking our hi-hat we're going and we're shifting the air now i want you to do that and start start doing hi-hats from that side position and really mess with your tongue you'll feel the thigh so not to be weird but if i stick my tongue out huh that little side of the tongue that's what's causing the whistle so if i do what kenny does now if i just kind of adjust my tongue into that gap hear how the whistle comes out so if i go that's what kenny does once i fill my tongue into that that tooth gap now it's a whistle sorry to get all close but already got that right now watch my tongue you're gonna see my tongue in this gap you're gonna see my tongue come up and go dot 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 sorry i'm missing the whistle okay so this one is very tricky just because of the positioning however adjust with it fine tune it a little bit trust me use a mirror once you find this and you get that spot it'll be a piece of cake couple tips i could give you guys one like i said use a mirror that's the biggest thing use a mirror look at the positioning look at what re-watch this video look at what i'm doing if you need to i'll do another example in a second so you guys can you know see and compare but use a mirror that's the big thing two try and experiment with different rhythms i remember when i went and i figured it out i literally went like that and it, i was like that was a whistle what the? i started kind of messing with it okay for me though when i actually wanted to start working this i wasn't able to just every time and hit that tooth whistle like that okay sometimes i was able to sometimes it just sounded like the kenny urban thing where i was going with the hi-hat okay mess with the rhythms and i know it sounds weird but i think it has to do with just our tongue positioning because when you're doing think about it so if you do different hi-hat rhythms like instead of just going maybe if you go so right here how it got a little it's a little bit more clearer when i do that i think what's happening is the tongue is kind of prepping ourselves in that spot since we're already you can kind of start working the push off of your tongue okay it sounds really confusing but once you guys start this technique you'll see what i'm talking about you'll you'll literally be able to start pocketing the air where you want it specifically it just takes a little bit to develop the muscles of your tongue and the jaw and kind of your it sounds silly because you don't have to develop your teeth but the teeth put the teeth positioning it's very tricky to figure that out as far as variations i don't think there's many maybe i just haven't figured them out yet the only one i have is it's kind of similar to the firecracker whistle if you guys remember that tutorial i told you that that whistle is being supported by the bass the chest bass the right you can kind of do the same th it's not the same but kind of do the same with this See what I mean? You can kind of add that. You can add that chest push, like you do with the firecracker whistle. You can do it on this one too. And 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you could, like and subscribe. If you already did, like and subscribe. How to thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, I, what are we on today? Tutorial 44, 45, 46? I don't even remember. All I know is we're getting near 50, and I need your guys' help. If you could, leave a comment down below. Let me know what tutorial you want to see for the big 5-0. I don't really... I've already come out with the Kindle roll, so I can't, like... I don't really know what to do for this big 50. Um, I'll make some ideas up eventually, but I just kind of want to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe you guys have some big idea or a specific sound you guys want for the big 50th tutorial. So leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, if you guys need help with this sound, leave a comment, let me know. Or if you guys want, like I always say, hit me up on all my social medias. If you want to hit me up on the World of Beatbox Discord server, maybe hit me up on TikTok, Snapchat, maybe Instagram, maybe the Kindo Facebook page. Maybe you want to find my personal Facebook page any of that stuff you guys can go to the description of this video okay i think it's called linkedin or linked tree it says like linkedin or linked tree.com slash kindo beats click that and it has all my it has every link of kindo it has anything and everything kindo i hope that helps you guys out i hope this tutorial helped you guys out as well and i will see you for the next video <laughs>